Second one was unacceptable because it had red flowers. Apparently red means you have slept with the groom. Excuse me? This is, am I the a-hole for kicking a server out of my wedding? I, 25 female, and my husband, 30 male, and I got married last Friday. We planned our dream wedding down to our dream catering company. The wedding was beautiful. After the pictures, we headed to our cocktail hour, and that's when I saw her. I saw her. My guests were all told to wear dark colors, so my husband and I stood out, and I also asked my guests to wear minimal makeup. I had assumed that applied to the staff, too. Ah, uh, yes. Even though I had no communication with staff, I just expected them to read my mind. The server, 19-ish female, had on clearly too much eyeliner. W huh? She also had diamond studs in her ears, a flashy ring, and one of those ugly nose studs. The only thing ugly about that is your reaction to it, you wench. The staff's uniform was a black long sleeve shirt, but on her it was too low cut and her pants were far too tight. Why are you paying so much attention to her? That's weird. It was super distracting. She was walking around serving drinks and talking to my guests. Ah, what a totally normal thing to do. You expect her to just be a robot and just... Like, what do you want from her? I asked another member of the staff to speak to their boss. When their boss came out, I pointed out the server and asked that she be dealt with because she was super distracting. Their boss apologized and called the server back into the kitchen. This is so over the top. You really don't think you're the a-hole right now? Yep. Not even an hour later, the server was back out serving food for dinner. I called the boss over again and asked if the server could work in the back or go home. Her boss said they were short-staffed tonight so she would see what could be done. After a couple hours of not seeing her, I saw the server again behind the bar. I called the boss out one last time- WHAT?! And told her if the server didn't leave, I would be calling the cops? I'm sorry, what? You wanna waste everyone's time, including stopping your own wedding or reception or whatever, because you feel jealous of some poor random girl? The boss finally relented and told the girl to go home. Poor thing. My husband and mother-in-law said I was acting crazy. Uh, yeah. And I probably got a poor college kid fired over nothing. Wait, he fired her? She better not have been. My mother and maid of honor said it's my wedding so I can do as I please. They are actively letting you be a bridezilla. Wow. It's my wedding and I don't want someone overshining me and the server should know she's at work and not dress up so much. I do feel kind of bad because she was pretty young. You only feel bad because of that? Am I the A? Yeah, why is this even a question? Go get therapy. You need help. I need therapy from reading this. You have just married the love of your life. Instead of celebrating with family and friends, you chose to focus on someone who you may not even see again. Yeah. I would love to see the video footage of you explaining to the cops on why you want this 19-year-old person who was hired by the catering company to do a job. One, she was wearing too much makeup. Two, she was wearing too much jewelry. Three, she has an ugly nose piercing. Four, her blouse is too low cut. Five, her pants were too tight. Sounds pretty dumb out loud, doesn't it? The cops would arrest or fine you for making a false report. OP is definitely in the running for Karen of the year. You're the a-hole. This is my Bradzilla cousin. This is definitely not the worst out there, but in my country, weddings are mostly a pretty chill affair. No one has bridesmaids, and many couples don't even marry at all. So a bridezilla sticks out like a sore thumb. So my cousin got married this summer. She got engaged in 2019, but surprise, surprise, COVID happened. She asked me to be a bridesmaid right away and was pretty over the top from the start. I muted the group chat immediately because it was going off multiple times a day, every single day. <laughs> Wedding was more than six months away, and she was extremely pushy about me coming to try on my dress in the middle of a super stressful time for me when I had finals and my anxiety was off the charts. These were fast fashion cocktail dresses, so not something that would require many alterations. Then COVID happened, and because everything was canceled, she had almost two years to overthink everything, which is not her fault. She changed our dresses as well as her own and demanded that we attend a hair and makeup trial. <laughs> trial? <laughs> <laughs> like a murder trial. On January 5th, six months before the wedding. Again, that is finals week and I have more important things to do so I was unable to attend. This caused the bride to go off and we mutually decided I should not be a bridesmaid since we were clearly not in agreement about the level of commitment. I paid her back for the new dress and we were mostly okay. Well, I'm glad you escaped. Throughout the spring, more and more people dropped out of the wedding because of the bride's behavior. The groom's parents, daughter, and sister dropped out, allegedly because she called sister-in-law a biscuit for asking about something. <laughs> Just for asking, how dare you look me in the eyes? You are gone. Two of her previous best friends and bridesmaids dropped out, supposedly because she yelled at them for asking them to leave the room so they could discuss her bachelorette. <laughs> because they were trying to talk about something to be so, that was gonna be nice for her, she was like, nope, 
None of that. None of that secrecy. Get out. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Go right to jail. She started out with seven bridesmaids, and on her actual wedding day, only three were left. Yikes. She created a Facebook group for the guests and posted it several times a week, to the point where there was so much information, it was impossible to keep it straight. She even posted a seating chart for the church. Again, I have never heard of anyone ever doing that. She messaged me several times asking for updates on my mental health, which is none of her business, and doubled down when I did not reply. Be gone, winch! At this point, I was a wedding guest and my mental health really wasn't relevant for her wedding. Oh, she found a way. Honestly, she was probably doing that so much because she wanted to convince her to come back to her domain. The dress code was quite a lot stricter than normal and we had to wear long dresses, so I had to buy one. The first one I found was unacceptable because it was black. Second one was unacceptable because it had red flowers. Apparently red means you have slept with the groom. Excuse me? Grandma had to put her foot down and say that if she could not wear her favorite dress, she would not come. <laughs> Watch her still uninvite her because she cares more about the stupid dress than her grandmother coming. Cousin also made a fuss about me offering to take grandma to the wedding since we live five minutes apart. Apparently she wanted grandma to go with the bridal party and was very upset that grandma preferred to go with me. Understandable, I guess, but she hadn't made plans with grandma and I was just trying to be helpful. Every time someone tries to be helpful for this woman, she just like is unacceptable. How dare you be nice to me? The wedding went well, but my goodness, my cousin was a nightmare bride to be. She is unemployed and the wedding became her whole life. At least seven to eight close friends and family cut ties with them because of it. Cousin and I have never been close and the 12 months leading up to her wedding definitely reminded me of why. Bruh. Where do people find this audacity? For info, cousin is 31 and I'm four years younger. Groom is 40. Everyone in the wedding is very much an adult. Just had to verify that to see if this was a actually a band of screaming toddlers. Mother of the bride was absolutely enabling crazy behavior through the whole thing. That sucks. Honestly, behind every entitled person is a parent who thoroughly failed them. 